Analysis of T-beams Problem number 1 Determine the ultimate moment capacity of a reinforced concrete T-beam with the following properties. Planche width or B sub F is equal to 1,500 mm. Web width or B sub W is equal to 250 mm. Effective depth D is equal to 600 mm. Slab thickness or T sub F is equal to 100 mm. Assume F prime C is equal to 20.70 MPa and FY is equal to 345 megapascal. The beam is reinforced with 628 mm diameter bars. At dahil hindi pa natin alam kung sa planche or sa web ng T-beam magpapal yung A, i-represent natin muna yung total compressive force ng T-beam. Step number 1. Assume still yields. Therefore, FS is equal to FY. By taking the summation of all forces horizontal is equal to 0, C is equal to T. C is equal to 0 0.85, F prime C, AC is equal to T, ASFY. 0 0.85, F prime C, 20.70. Area of concrete, yun yung unknown. AS1176 pi, kinumpute natin. And FY is equal to 345 megapascal. And the value of area of concrete under compression when FS is equal to FY is 72,441.4306 mm squared. Computing naman natin yung area ng planche para malaman kung sa planche or sa web ng TB magpapal yung A. The area of planche is equal to 1,500 multiplied by 100. And the area of planche is equal to 150,000 mm squared. Since the area of concrete under compression is less than the value of area of planche, ibig sabihin, yung value ng A natin is less than the thickness of planche. Ito yung value ng area ng concrete under compression. Then yung value ng A natin is less than the value of thickness of planche. Yung value ng area ng concrete under compression is equal to 1.5 multiplied by A. At ang value ng A is 48.29 mm. Using the formula, A is equal to beta 1C at dahil 20.70 yung value ng F prime C, siya ay greater than 17 and less than 28 kaya yung value ng beta 1 is 0.85. At ang value ng C is 56.82 mm. Using this formula, compute natin yung value ng Fs para ma-check kung tama yung assumption natin. Fs is equal to 600, effective depth is 600, Minus C, yung nakuha natin, 56.82 over C. At ang makukuha nating value ng Fs is equal to 5,735.80 MPa, which is greater than the value of Fy. At kapag greater than yung value ng Fs sa Fy, therefore, it still yields. Since na nag-yield yung ating still, ibig sabihin, tama yung assumption natin. Since tama yung assumption natin, ipagpapatuloy lang natin yung ating solution. Step number 2. Classify the section para malaman natin kung anong value ng reduction factor yung gagamitin natin. Looking at this table, yung value ng Fs natin is 5,000 plus, which is greater than the value of 1,000 megapascal. Kaya yung classification ng section natin is tension control. At ang gagamitin natin value ng reduction factor is 0.90. Step number 3, solve for the moment capacity. I-moment lang natin itong C dito sa axis ng T. At yung moment na ma-produce is the nominal moment. And the value of the nominal moment is equal to C multiplied by the moment arm D minus A over 2. C is equal to 0 0.85 F prime C AC. 0 0.85 F prime C given 20.70 megapascal. The value of area of concrete under compression 72,441.4306 mm squared. Multiplied by the moment arm D minus A over 2. Effective depth is 600, minus A, 48.29, ito yung nakuha natin, over 2, and the value of the nominal moment is equal to 733.99 kN. At para naman makuha yung value ng ultimate moment, equal lang yun sa reduction factor times MN. Reduction factor is nakuha natin yung klinasify natin yung section, which is 0 0.90 for tension control, Multiplied by the value of MN na na-obtain natin, 733.99. At ang value ng ultimate moment capacity ng beam is 660.60 kN. 
The next problem to be presented is when the value of A is greater than the value of thickness of flange or kapag yung A is magpopol na dun sa web ng T-beam. Problem number 2. Determine the ultimate moment capacity of a reinforced concrete T-beam with the following properties. Plunge width or B sub F is equal to 850 mm. Web width or B sub W is equal to 400 mm. Effective depth D is equal to 580 mm. Slab thickness or T sub F is equal to 100 mm. Assume F prime C is equal to 21 megapascal and Fy is equal to 345 megapascal. The beam is reinforced with 1032 millimeter diameter bars. Uulitin lang natin yung procedure na ginawa natin sa problem number 1. Step number 1, assume steel yields. Fs is equal to Fy. By taking summation of all forces horizontal is equal to 0, the value of C is equal to the value of T. C is equal to 0.85 F prime C area of concrete is equal to the value of area of steel multiplied by Fy. 0.85 F prime C is 21 megapascal. Area of concrete is unknown. Equal to the value of area of steel. Ito yun, kinopute ko na, 25605. And the value of Fy is 345 megapascal. And the value of area of concrete under compression is 155,442.8365 mm squared. Compute naman natin yung area ng plunge. The area of plunge is equal to 850 multiplied by 100. And the value of area of plunge is 85,000 mm squared. Dahil mas malaki yung area ng concrete under compression compared to the value of the area of plunge it means to say na kailangan pa natin kumuha ng area sa web ng T-beam. Kaya yung magiging value ng A natin is greater than sa thickness ng plunge. The value of area 2 is equal to the area of concrete under compression minus area of plunge. Thus, area 2 is equal to AC minus AF. At ang value ng area 2 is equal to 70,442.8365 mm squared. Area 2, since rectangle yan, equals sa base times height. Base is 400, tas i-denote natin yung height as C. The value of area 2 is 70,442.8365 is equal to 400 times C, kaya nakuha yung value ng C na 176.11 mm. Para makuha yung value ng A, equal lang yon sa 100 thickness ng planche plus value of C. Then, the value of A is equal to 276.11 mm. Using the formula, A is equal to beta 1 C. Since ang value ng F prime C is 21 megapascal, magpapol tayo dito sa criteria na to, kaya yung value ng beta 1 is 0.85. At ang value ng C is 324.84 mm. Kunin naman natin yung value ng Fs using this formula para ma-check kung tama yung assumption natin. Fs is equal to 600, effective depth 580, minus C 324.84, eto yung na-compute natin, over C. At ang value ng Fs na nakuha natin is 471.296 megapascal, which is greater than sa value ng Fy. It means, tama yung assumption natin, still yields. Step number 2, classify the section. Para malaman natin kung anong value ng reduction factor yung gagamitin sa solution. Yung value ng Fs na na-compute natin is 471.296 MPa and yung value ng Fy is 345 MPa. Mas malaki yung value ng Fs sa Fy pero less than sa value na 1000 kaya yung classification ng section is transition. At ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for reduction factor. From this formula, substitute lang natin yung value ng Fs at ng Fy. At ang value ng reduction factor is 0.6982. I-drawing naman natin yung stress diagram nitong T-beam. This is the total compressive force of the section, 0.85 F'C, total area of concrete under compression. Yung total compressive force na to, hatiin natin to sa dalawa, the compressive force of the plunge and the compressive force from web, Tinawag ko yun na C2. Ginawa na natin to sa non-rectangular beams. Then yung distance ng CF hanggang sa axis ng T, i-denote natin na YF. And yung distance ng C2 hanggang sa axis ng T, tawagin natin Y2. 
Then kapag iminomet natin yung CF sa axis ng T, yung moment na maproproduce is tatawagin natin M and F. Same as to C2, kapag minomet yan sa axis ng T, yung moment na maproproduce ay tatawagin natin M and 2. At kapag pinag-add natin yung M and F at M and 2, equal yon sa total nominal moment ng section. MN is equal to CF times YF plus C2 times Y2. CF is equal to 0.85 F prime CAF and C2 is equal to 0.85 F prime CA2. Since yung length na to ay TF at yung CF ay nasa gitna, kaya yung distance na to is equal sa TF over 2. At para makuha yung value ng YF, equal yun sa 580 minus TF over 2. Same as to Y2, equal yun sa 580 effective depth minus TF minus A over 2. Since yung total net na to ay say. YF is equal to D minus TF over 2 is equal to 530 mm. Y2 is equal to effective depth minus TF minus A over 2. And the value of that is 391.945 mm. Mag-start muna tayo sa CF. 0.85, F' C21. Area of plunge na kuha na natin kanina, 85,000. Multiplied by YF, 530 mm. Next is C2, 0.85, F' C21. Area 2 na kuha na din natin kanina, 70,442.8365. Multiplied by Y2, 391.945 mm. Kaya yung value ng MN is 1,296.98 kN. At para naman makuha yung ultimate moment capacity ng beam, equal lang yun sa reduction factor MN. The value of reduction factor is equal to 0.6982 multiplied by the value of MN, 1,296.98 kN. Kaya yung value ng ultimate moment capacity is 905.55 kN. Yung next problem after ng video na to is when the value of Fs is not equal to Fy or when the tension still does not yield. 